just finished up practice up here at uh, North Location in Buford. Um, finished, kind of finished some of the leg defense stuff that I want to do. Um, but one thing we did today is spar a little bit more from that leg defense position. I took some time to talk about some major points that uh, the top guy should be looking for. So we get in high level top uh, feel as well as getting getting to those, those leg clearing positions from bottom. Um, and we sparred a good bit. Um, coaches, if you're not if you're not sparring or your kids don't know how to spar, a lot of times with younger guys, with, with more green kind of kids, um, it, sparring tends to be frustrating from a coaching standpoint. But if you don't start in, investing in that time now to spar, um, it's, it's, it's more like a checks and balances for drilling. So when we drill, a lot of times um, kids – will just kind of fall or get to the position that they know the guy that's drilling on will get to, and there's no feedback from them, and there's no feel from them either. So um, classic scenario would be we're working on leg defense, and we're lo working on pushing back and getting a strong position and clearing bottom leg and then getting hip separation. Um, but a key point is guy at clearing that top hand so that guy can't stay close to our hips and, and close to our back. Um, and a lot of guys are just kind of letting go and falling and, and letting the guy clear leg. If you touch on some key points that the top guy needs to be focused on, like consistently uh, securing bottom hand or throwing in top side boot when the bottom side boot gets cleared out, um, or just adjusting in general um, and then having them spar, it's more of a high level feel in a controlled environment, but it, it, it's keeping checks and balances on, on what the bottom guy's doing. If you just kind of show a move and then let kids flop around, um, they're not going to get as bad of a, as good of a feel, um, but also it makes it, it makes the drill two sided. You know, you don't if you have a two hour practice and the top guy's just hanging on, checked out, and the bottom guy is only focused on his position, um, then you get half a practice in. So everybody walks away with one, one hour of practice. Um, and, and if you focus more on that purposeful work, which is give the guy, the top guy an objective, whether you're sparring or whether you're drilling, um, and it's tough to stay engaged for a lot of guys um, if they don't have an objective. So giving them an objective, and they're, they're not being a knucklehead, they're not, they're not making the bottom guy be unsuccessful, but what they are doing is keeping checks and balances and holding the bottom guy accountable um, in this leg defense position. And that's both sides of the coin. That's neutral. That's that's any position you're drilling. So um, finishing up leg defense this week. Uh, talked about double boots today. Talked about getting both knees to one side on double boots and then getting back to strong position. Talked about if we get stuck on the wrong hip. So if I'm on my left hip and the right leg's in, fighting back to my right leg and get back to get back to that position so I can clear. Um, and then sparred, sparred a good bit there and then just trouble shot. You know, let, kid, let kids get in there and make some mistakes and, 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 and get to the wrong positions and then have them ask questions and be like, oh, well, you ended up here because these three things happened or you ended up here because we, we, we neglected to, to clear this area. Um, so it's, it's good feedback for them while they're doing it. It's good feedback for the coaches while they're watching. Um, and as they engage and ask more questions, it just it makes for a real good organic position you know, that you're working on, it, it creates a good organic situation for you guys to troubleshoot and uh, tighten up those positions. So um, gonna, gonna really ramp it up next week. We're about uh, five weeks out, four and change out from Super 32. So next three weeks are gonna be tough. Gonna be a lot of output practices, gonna be coming in and scrapping a good bit. Um, and then uh, we got Super 32 prep camp with Dan Dennis coming in, um, and that's going to be a fun day. Uh, that's September 21st, I think, at, at the North Gym. Um, so uh, more post-practice stuff. And uh, guys, leave some comments. Leave me some feedback. I, I, I want these as much for me to get smarter and get y'all's feedback as it is for um, uh, just to let you guys know what's going on in our world. Appreciate it.